Hi, my name is Sam Weinberg, and I'm applying to be an XL uh, for the summer program uh, this year. Last year, when I applied to be a participant in Hands of Peace, I didn't really know a whole lot about the Israel-Palestine conflict. I, I, growing up in suburban Illinois, I had never really learned about it. It's something that's lacking in curricula around the country, unfortunately. Uh, but not only did Hands of Peace bring me knowledge about the conflict, it brought me uh, the ability to be able to understand and listen to people uh, much better than I had been able to beforehand. Uh, sitting through dialogue and having to hear the accounts and stories. I say having to hear like it's some kind of burden, but it was absolutely not. It was it was a, a remarkable uh, experience that that was beneficial, I think, to all people involved. Uh, but, but being able to sit through dialogue and hearing the remarkable accounts and stories of people who live through the conflict every day has definitely opened my eyes to some of the suffering uh, and, and, and the unfortunate events that happen across the world. And that's not to say that I didn't know these things were happening, but there's something very special about being able to uh, hear this firsthand and to be able to witness this process of dialogue where people can actually voice their opinions and be heard by the other side. And while I've never really had hugely strong beliefs about the Israel-Palestine conflict, I, I think it's a very, very nuanced, very nuanced conflict, um, especially after hearing all of the accounts that I've that I've heard over the summer uh, but but being someone who's never had you know extremely strong opinions about it I really didn't know uh, how to go into dialogue uh, so I just listened and I think listening is something that I've definitely gotten better at since uh, hands of peace but not just that I think I've also gotten a lot better at voicing my opinions uh, respectfully, cordially, uh, and yet articulately. And I talk about, you know, um, being more articulate with my opinions, yet there's something that I can't um, really put into words about Hands of Peace, something that just instilled uh, a much more thoughtful and understanding and empathetic state within me. Something that I, I can't really put my finger on, but something that I know is there. And the reason, the primary reason that I want to be an XL is because I want to help instill that change, that knowledge, that understanding, that empathy, those abilities within next year's participants that was instilled uh, within me last year. Uh, not just by the XLs, but by the program as a whole. And I think... Last year's XLs uh, found a very good balance of taking a hands-off approach while also uh, being involved. And that's not to say that they were, they were uninvolved when I say they were kind of hands-off, but they didn't want to constantly intervene in the process. And I think that's something that's, that's good. They found a balance, and it was the right balance. And as someone who uh, is empathetic, a good listener, someone who's pretty easy to talk to, um, I think that I would be a good XL. I think that those skills are essential to be a good leader of any kind, especially in a dialogue-based group uh, and this type of program that, that focuses on understanding and, and bridging the gap uh, between the two sides of this conflict. So, being an XL would, would really uh, also help me tone in on those skills even more. I think that there's more for me to learn about, about leadership, about these skills, listening, understanding that I've talked about. And, and they're not just skills. They're, they're things that really, really, truly do help someone become a better person. And uh, I'm not saying I was you know, necessarily a, a, a bad person, before Hands of Peace, but I think that being able to understand someone, being able to listen to them, 
is, is incredibly important. I think since Hands of Peace, I have really been able to understand people who I disagree with more. And it's not that I particularly disagreed with anyone on the whole uh, during Hands of Peace. Like I said, I've never had extremely strong opinions about the conflict. Uh, but, but more importantly than, than anyone's opinions on the conflict, I think, is the process of reconciliation, understanding, and peace. No matter who's right and who's wrong, reconciliation, uh, even if it's just talking with someone for a little bit, even if it's not, you know, fully uh, conciliatory, it's still incredibly important. And, and I do believe that that's, that's an extremely beneficial. I... I really do believe that I could help instill in next year's participants what was instilled within me. I think I could help facilitate that process by being an XL, by being a a good leader, someone who can uh, help uh, and and assist the participants in the in the process uh, of Hands of Peace, which is something that I think is is incredibly uh, the process. I, th I think is incredibly incredibly significant in, in everyone's lives uh, who has gone through it. I, I don't know a single person uh, who was in Hands of Peace last year who was not profoundly affected by it. And I think, I think that I could really help uh, through being an XL, bringing about that sense of change, that sense of development, becoming a more thoughtful, understanding person uh, within others. And I think that, that, that doing that uh, with other people is much more important than than instilling it within yourself. Uh, but as someone who's who has gone through that process, I think it is uh, incredibly incredibly uh, important to me that I help bring it to other people as well. Thank you.